Hey, welcome out back everybody. It's been a while since I recorded. As you can see, we've got Ozzy. We've got Mr. Crowley with lyrics. I tried to do that live version that's so cool that um but uh it got whatever, censored, taken down. Probably makes sense. Usually you can't use a lot of live uh information. Uh, like that video, so we're going with a lyrics video. This is Mr. Crowley. You all know it. Wait, do you? Yeah. You already know this song, don't you? I know this song musically and not very well lyrically. Let's do it. Yeah, got the organ starting off. Reminds me of Seven Lonely Streets by Atomic Rooster, way before Ozzy did that kind of funeral keyboard start. <laughs> Mr. Crowley was a real person who was all into the occult. Like, I think he's synonymous with modern occult sort of stuff, maybe sort of the most famous, I'm guessing. I don't really know about a lot of that stuff. But, you know, is this, is that all, all that kind of stuff just for show and stuff? You know, the way I like a lot of metal and rock bands, like, you know, mention Satan and devil worship and stuff and just kind of it always seemed like it kind of just sold more records you know to do that like you were more dark and sinister and you know so that was this mr crowley like that or was he you know the real deal did it was he somebody that believed in all of these things uh i don't know anything about him so i, I don't know w was he um, found guilty of atrocities? I have no idea. <laughs>
polemically. Polemically? Never heard of that word. so it's maybe wrong, but that maybe Randy Rhodes was um, sort of in the middle, he died very young, in the middle of pursuing a classical music degree or path anyway. And that last little part, I really heard that, that last part of the guitar. I believe with this song, people tend to talk about the first guitar solo we heard in this song. But then we get into these other sections, um, and I think I probably do like that first one the most in this song, but uh, that was really cool there. Just in the last 20 seconds, it was, it was very poetic, very um, emotional, and um, very both very precise, but also very, um, yeah, full of emotion and, um, I don't know, uh, the right word sort of um, you know with with his own style it's not like other people would just sit down and play that even if they even if you play those notes at the same speed and the exact same notes you wouldn't play it it's hard to picture anybody else playing it with that kind of style and I think that's what really made Randy Rhodes so special um, you know because other guys could play at these speeds speed is not the thing it's about emotion and and how it fits into the song <laughs> You know, honestly, this song is just like basically a showcase for him to just play in a way. Um, but he plays within the song so many times, particularly in metal. You just have this s solo part where the lead guitarist shows off like how fast he can fret and everything and um, what he thinks sounds cool. But what's great about this kind of guitar work is that it, it matches the song and it fits into it perfectly. I'm assuming he, Randy Rhodes wrote this song or did Ozzy or somebody else in the band. I'd, I'd be curious to know how their songwriting went. Um, you know, usually it's not a total collaboration like people say. <laughs> oh, the whole band we got together. It's usually one or two of the people that really carried that. Um, so I'm guessing with that kind of guitar work that Randy Rhodes was the primary on this and Ozzy secondary, but I don't know. Well, obviously a great song, enjoyable. I like listening to that. I'm sure you did too. I hope that doesn't get blocked. <laughs> I hope, you know, it's very possible, but it's still worth trying. So um, thanks for watching everybody and we'll stop there. Peace.